Hey, today I'm going to talk about teleconverters. What is a teleconverter? A teleconverter fits in between your lens and your camera. Like this one. This one's a times two. You put it on the end and it doubles your lens. Since this one's times two is double, there's other ones. There's like a 1.4, 1 1.7, um, and there's even a times three. But uh, what, what, what it does is this one's times two, so it doubles it. This uh, lens right here is a Takina. 70 to 210 so what does it do it makes it when you put it on here you, it makes it 140 to 420 so that's quite a bit uh, zoomed in if you want if you want to get something that's uh, super far away and you don't have the reach to get it you could put one of these on your camera I'm gonna show you some images here and then we'll talk about um, we'll talk about my thoughts on it and you could kind of make your decision by these shots so first off, what I did is I, I took this lens just by itself, no teleconverter, and took a shot, put it on a tripod, and exposed it here at uh, it's ISO 400, um, a 60th of a second, at f5.6. Now that's at uh, 210 millimeters. And then what I did is I put the teleconverter on and took the exact same shot with exact same settings. Now you can see there it's a lot more zoomed in. Well, what happened? It's all dark. Well, these teleconverters, uh, with the exact same settings, it takes away uh, two stops of light. Since this is times two, it takes away two stops of light. You're missing a lot of light, so um, you have to, you know, adjust it somehow. I'm already at a 60th of a second. That, I mean, if, if something was moving, that would probably be a little blurry anyway. So what, I, what am I doing here? I, I'm going to go ahead and just bump up my ISO two stops. So I went from ISO 400 to ISO. 1600 so here now you can see it's properly exposed or fairly close um, so there you go that's that's what it, it looks like now I'm going to show you the original image with no teleconverter just kind of zoomed in in the editor uh, I didn't do any other um, edits just besides zooming in trying to get uh, just about as close as you would with this and you can see here the difference here there's a little bit difference in sharpness here um, and that's basically what a teleconverter will do for you so it's up to you if you what if you want to use one of course but um, I choose not to use them because um, if any a little faults of your lens it, it typically um, magnifies them so um, with when I use this uh, this is the Tacumar when I use this with the 300 millimeter DA star lens I found it my images were better if I didn't use the teleconverter I just used the 300 and cropped in in my editor they just came out a little bit better um, you kind of lose a little bit of sharpness with these um, especially if, if you have one that's not that good of quality so that's what I prefer to do especially with the sensors now they're almost all of them out there are 20 plus megapixels so that gives you enough room so you can actually crop in a little bit so uh, that's my thoughts about uh, teleconverters you can leave your thoughts below um, but uh, you might as well get, go ahead and get one of these and just try them out but this one um, it's around 30 40 bucks it's a Tacumar A um, you can get generic ones for like 10 15 dollars so go ahead and uh, do some test yourself and, and see see how you like it um thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment what you think about teleconverters thanks again